Hi, my name is Ali Pedjaman, and I'm the fortunate mentor for both Brianna and Aria Apocadip. What I hope you guys will see in today's pitch are three things. One, two natural entrepreneurs that are putting it all on the line to change an archaic grant system. Two, a business that can be scaled and become massive and a big business opportunity. But for me, the most important thing is their technology and what they're doing is helping small businesses, nonprofits, get money they normally not get. This is a perfect combination of doing good and making profits. So without further ado, please join me for a warm round of applause for Team From Pocketed. My name's Brianna Blaney, and I'm here with my co-founder, Arya Han. We've spent the last six years building businesses, both separately and together. Building a business is hard, and one of the biggest barriers, especially for women, is money. We get it. We've lived this pain, trying to find money to start and grow our own companies. Less than 3% of VC funding goes to women. And while we hope that changes, we found an alternative. Both of us were accessing grant funding. We asked hundreds of entrepreneurs if they were using grants, and the answer was almost always no. Over and over, they told us that it's hard to find the right programs and then painful to apply. We started out so many grant applications for friends, and this quickly grew into pocketed. There are billions of dollars in free government money available every year in Canada and the U.S., and a lot of it goes unused. Pocketed is changing that. Because whether you're building a startup, a small business, or a side hustle, there is money out there to help you grow. Grant funding has been around for almost a century in Canada. It's an old industry. Pocketed is modernizing and automating a service that has never been automated before. Our platform matches our users with eligible funding programs based on their profile. Then we help them submit winning applications. Our goal is to be founder friendly. We're making it as easy as possible, doing all the work to apply and using our technology to automate the process. Pocketed is risk-free for our users. We charge a success fee, which means you only pay when we successfully get you money. Meet our user, Ada, the co-founder of Nalacare and part of the forum community. Pocketed helped Ada secure over $100,000 in government funding, money to make key hires and grow her business. And this is just one example. We're here to help you, as a small business owner, get the money you need. Today, we're proud that more than 6,000 businesses across Canada use Pocketed to overcome the need for cash. And we're thrilled that 48% of them are female-led businesses, including many ventures from the forum community. Pocketed is leveling the playing field for all entrepreneurs. We're here to create opportunity and make the incredibly challenging task of starting and growing a business just a little bit easier. Last year, our users applied for over $80 million through Pocketed, money to fuel your company, to take more risks, create meaningful jobs, expand to new markets, and solve real prob problems through innovation. This past summer, we raised a million dollars from experienced investors to expand across Canada and complete a U.S. pilot, and we're on track to achieve our milestones. While it's our faces you see tonight, the real credit goes to our incredible team who have dedicated themselves to Pocketed's vision and help us support businesses across Canada every day. We're building a repeatable model that will allow us to scale and create impact globally. We're on our way to achieving a dominant market position with 80,000 users and $7 million in revenue within two years. We're grateful to be here in front of you telling the story of Pocketed. Tonight, we ask for your vote so we can get even more businesses the money they need to grow. We invite you to create your free Pocketed account today and to tell someone you know about Pocketed. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, should we dive into some questions here? Does that make sense? Absolutely. Hmm. So yeah, first of all, it. super well done, guys. Super well done. Really smooth. Pleasure to listen to both of you speak. And wow, I can't say except for wow about the business that you've achieved so far. So I'm going to start off with the question of simply, in your current business model and your current operations model, what do you see as the biggest gap? What is the biggest gap? Where What keeps you up at night currently? Yeah. Yeah, so when we look at what keeps us up at night, we talk, we talk about this a lot. We have a whole document, a writing document about all the things that keep us up at night. And one of the biggest ones right now is as we're looking to the U.S. for our scaling into that market, it's a very different market than here in Canada. So where in Canada, we were able to go after the country at once. In the States, we're having to be way more targeted in our go-to-market approach. So we're looking there not just at the country, 
but at the optimal intersection of geography, funding programs, and customer segment profile. So it's a much more nuanced approach for that go-to-market. So that's something that keeps you up at night because you are ultimately having a hypothesis of which market's going to make the most sense to enter first. And it's always scary when you have a hypothesis and you're having to go and test that. So that would be probably the biggest thing. And we are confident that we've got the right team and the right research and approach to work through that in a very sound way. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. Over to my partner here. Thank you. Uh, fantastic presentation. Um, I think it's like every entrepreneur that sees this is like, yeah, I need this. <laughs> so it's, uh, it's pretty exciting to see. And uh, I guess my question would be the education behind it. So there's a lot of grant misconception with entrepreneurs. You know, it's only for tech. Um, I got to mm -hmm. do full-time reporting, which will require another position for me to fill. Now I have to go to HR. How are you dealing with market entry in terms of your education for your consumer base to really lock in those customers? Yeah, our go-to-market approach has five key pillars, and one of them is content and digital strategy because it is a huge piece. So it's interesting because a lot of our user growth, about 40%, comes from strategic alliances we've built with accelerators, incubators, boards of trade, chambers of commerce, basically anywhere that as an entrepreneur you go for help to start and grow your business. So that's really helped us to get in front of our target audience and provide them with that education and the information that they need to overcome some of those misconceptions. Uh, one of the webinars that we run is called Grants 101. And there's an entire section in that webinar about grant myths. So we intimately live that pain. And it's been very rewarding building Pocketed with Aria and our team over the last 14 months because we've seen that many of the companies that are very successful in getting and then using grant funding aren't just that stereotypical profile of a tech company. It is you, people like Nolicare who are building incredible products. It's a food truck. It's a photography business. It's a makeup business. So it really is a broad spectrum of people that are successful through Pocketed. Yeah, I love it. Thank you. I know we've got a few seconds left. I, I look at this as like democratizing the, the ability. And so I love that. I love that, that impact. Um, what's your total growth opportunity as you see it? Yeah, so there's $5.9 billion in funding in Canada, over $150 billion in the US. And those are just the first two markets that we're going after. As we look ahead to pocket it, what gets us excited is scaling so far beyond North America. It's very common practice to have grant funding to fuel your economy and we plan to take over all of it. Thank you, thank you. So well done, you guys. Best of thank luck, you. best of luck. Thank you. It was great. Yeah. Thank you.